Hey guys, my name is Sanjay Raj. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I just wanted to teach you guys on how to create these cards. So this has got uh, beautiful cartoonistic icons, which we are going to be getting from icons8.com. And also, I'll be teaching you how to make this uh, kind of a flex um, social media icons and also this buttons right here, which are at the bottom. So as you can see, it's icons by icons 8. You have to include it if you're using it in your projects. So it's just some basic ones. It's also kind of responsive. We're also going to be doing that. So once it crosses around 1000 pixels, you're going to get a um, response. It's going to stack up over each of them. Uh, that's it, guys. So let's just get started. If you're new to my channel, just feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I'm so thankful from... For my previous video how much support you showed mm, thanks guys so let's just get started so i'm gonna open up a new folder called cards uh, and uh, underscore because i also have another folder called cards so i'm gonna select that folder uh, inside the folder bag we're just gonna be having our basic index.html and style.css also i'll be having my uh, github and my link um to i would say my projects in the description so i just want to get this out of the way uh, uh let me just mute it so after that i just want to make up a boilerplate so i'm using emmet so just put the exclamation mark and click on it or click tab it's gonna get generate this random random in the sense the boilerplate the main important ones so first of all what i want to do and not want to forget is i want to link my style.css if you guys are really really new to html and css and want kind of tutorials based on beginners then make sure to feel free to comment in the comment section down below i'll be really i'm really i'm okay with making a tutorial for you guys only so i'm okay with that so first of all i want to make a div with a class of the card section which is going to be our main part where we have everything and we need a div with a class of card and card one the reason why we have two classes is this is going to be a global one so we are going to be styling all the cards using this and styling each and every one of them using the second class once that's done, I want to make an image. Now, if you know, we are using CSS grid here. So we want to uh, uh, go with that, um, I would say, um, rules. So the link is going to be HTTP IMG dot um, icons 8 dot com slash cotton slash 2x slash instagram new uh, dot png now this is a huge link i know i'm doing this because uh i don't have that much internet so you uh, this is where i'm getting my, all my stuff from it's also got an api so you might be handling that api i might make a future video on it after that i want a div so this is the second section of a uh, uh, css grid so we need an h4 which uh First is payments. After that, we need a p tag with some lorem 10, which means it will give us some random text in the in the lines of 10. After that, we need a div with a class of images. So if we take a look, actually, we have the icon and h4, a p tag, and some icons. So that's what we are doing now. So inside the icons we need a couple of things so let me copy this i'm gonna paste it right here it's gonna be quite similar um uh, this should be twitter.png and it is should be plus design i guess um so if i actually open up this in live server i should see if this works or not yes it's working so let me indent that um copy this and i'm gonna paste it a couple of times uh yeah we need three so this instead is gonna be insta 
Instagram, not Instagram, new uh, and YouTube. And after that, we need a span tag with the class of bottom. So, what does that have to do with this? Basically, this. This is the one we are targeting. So, this is the bottom. We need a position absolute and all those kind of stuff. I want to say proceed. So, this is, a, this is just the main thing. I'm going to copy this down. I'm going to paste it um, four times. I just want to make the classes different. Card 2. Card 3. And... I want to make that card four. now for the images we need different images for different cards mm. oh, wait a second we need I would say we need Facebook uh, we need Facebook we need yeah First, we need Facebook. Uh, I'm just going through my code. I um, then I need shop, and after that I need bank. I guess we are wasting more time on the HTML with the links mostly. Bank dot png. So if we actually take a look at what we got. It's nothing. Uh, I forgot to connect. So if I refresh, yes, we got everything. Mm, so now let's get right into CSS. Mm, first of all, you know, uh, just make sure to comment down below. So I'll make sure to make like a crash course uh, for beginners. So margin zero, padding zero. We want to remove out the box sizing as well. Um, and we want to make a universal font family called Nonito. Uh, you guys know if you guys are following me for quite a while, I've been using this font. So for the background, we need to give it a color of F O F O F O. It's F zero, but I'm just saying it's F O. So for the all the images now, this is all the global ones. So we don't need to add separate um, CSS for it. We want to make the width of it 100 and for any a tags we have which we don't uh, we want to say it's none and after that we want to target the card um, sorry card why do I always do that card section now in the card section what we want is a grid facility mm, we want to display it as grid uh, and we want to say grid templates column want to rip it two times one fr now what's happening here if you guys take a look at what we have we have two different sections we have this side and this side it's really huge but if you see, it's, this is 1FR and this is 1FR. So if we're repeating it, we get repeat 2 times 1FR. So that's basically it. And for the card, we have quite a lot of styling. Uh, we want display grid and the grid template columns. I just want to be 1FR because I want it to be stacked uh, next to each other and give it some margin and remove that with 60 and I want to make the margin on the top and bottom 5 rem and the left and right 10 rem and I want the background of it to be quite dark yeah quite dark and I want the padding to be 50 pixels we want some spacing inside as well and we want the text to be aligned to the center and uh, wait we need the background to be white after that mm, you want to make the color of it to 333 which is um, uh, black kind of black and we want the position 
to be relative which we already did we also want a box shadow quite a good box shadow so we need 18 pixels on the top 17 pixels on the right 0 pixels on the bottom and minus 7 pixels on the left we want to use RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1 so if we take a look at what we have this is what we have we want to make some margin and um, display flex and all those kind of stuff and remove all of them so let's get started going after that um, we want to style the bottom so what uh, the class with bottom so we want to give a universal color i'm not going to be using different colors for everything it's for eight and four i want to give the position to absolute and i want to say bottom zero and left zero i want to make the color of it white i want some padding as well padding in the sense um, um uh, what is it um like spacing in the inside so i want to give the width 100 percent i want to be able to be clickable that i want the mouse to change so the cursor point so if you see what we have here is it um it's pretty cool after that we want to target the images so dot images i want to display a flex so we can get it small and we can make it adjust to the card we have uh, with 70 percent we want it to be relatively small not big as the icons we have on the top and a margin bottom of 40 pixels so if we take a look it's kind of stacked up it's kind of good uh, but one problem is uh, the bank so I want to actually change it so I'm gonna go what I want to do is I'm gonna it's a problem Starting what I want to do sorry guys I'm gonna be actually showing you guys how to actually get it mm, let me use what do I use okay I'll use that so I'm click I'll click on embed HTML and copy that so go there it should be the second one um, I paste in that I don't want it with this because if it's that uh, you, you you could see some glossy yeah it's like that it's not good it's not nice you don't want it to be like that when it's on your website we want to make it 2x so if you see it's kind of good you can see it after that what we want to do is um, what do we actually want to do we want to make the um, we want to target the images inside the class called images and we want the margin to be zero on top and bottom zero three pixels and i want to give it a border of one pixels of solid rgba i want to say 51 51 51 and 0 0.18 which is giving uh, slightly a transparency color so also we want it to be clickable so there's a pointer there's a pointer there and after that we want to target the what do I want to target and if we actually take a look at what we have in it what we have what we want to do is we want to make the image a little bit smaller and we want to make some spacing so which i actually forgot to do um not that image um the card image the main image that we have right over here um, so so if i do that if I say with 80% um, you know what I want to make it actually really small 
and I want to say margin on the top and bottom I want at least 30 pixels and auto which will center it actually so this is kind of cool it looks kind of similar we also have some different logos so what we have so in parts of the icons and the headers we wanna what I'm sorry we wanna target the h4 inside this div wanna target the card one and then div this div and then the h4 so as far as now we are not styling individual parts we have card one card two but which is actually good so we actually have an h4 yeah so h4 inside the h4 we need some margin yeah margin top of 15 pixels uh i guess that's too much um yeah that's great and after that i also want to target the p tag uh, and give it a margin bottom of 10 pixels which is uh, not that great so that's good also we want to make the images kind of small um, 60% I guess would do it uh, margin I want to make like 10 pixels so we get a slightly spacing but also it also depends on your preference on do you wanna um, kind of style it in a good way like you have more icons or stuff you guys can do it also now we want to add an hover effect so if I copy this paste it right there I say hover so this is what we selected so we call that pseudo selectors you guys can uh, check this on CSS tricks they've got some awesome tutorials over there and we want to make the what we want to do yeah we want to make a box shadow one of with zero pick um, three pixels five pixels five pixels and five pixels I want it to be Mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm just gonna be putting some random text and uh, if I hover over it I'll get that mm, so if that might no so I should reduce the transparency because it's kind of like a card you don't want everyone to look at that at the first so it kind of it's kind of good uh, we want to add a transition so uh, when we hover over it, you get a transition, obviously. Uh, is in out. So, it's got a nice transition. So, that's about for the video, guys. Uh, I guess it's pretty much a long video. Uh, not that long, but I guess it's pretty useful, I guess. Um, you guys can use this in your websites or stuff, so... I'm really thankful guys if you stick at the until the end of the video thank you so much uh if you guys want more tutorials and love the t love the way i teach please make sure to subscribe to my channel guys it will really make me happy and kind of motivated to do more videos that's kind of it for the video guys if you want any if you have any doubts you guys can leave it in the comments and also you guys can follow me on instagram and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one bye